and they crush this area down. Ah, like this. They try yeah, to lean just forward, like right? making it smaller, right. imploding everything down. Whoa. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's what happens if you oh, do that. that's perfect. That's not very stable. So we want to have, a lot of people think about twisting the floor apart, stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I, I might have gone through that yeah, uh, we, we, in prior videos, but yeah. you and I talked about a little it bit, bit more. So um, it's really about, we want the force through the midfoot. A lot of people think about being on the heels, not appropriate, like the force is through the midfoot. And we want to think about three points of contact right here. So this is this spot right between these two, right in the web, right here, out on this outer metatarsal line, and then in the heel. Okay, and all times be able to maintain those connected with the mm. floor. A lot of people want to think about a knees out position. Well, I can get knees out and lose my foot. Yeah. Okay, which is going to affect actually the firing. This controls a lot of stuff that happens in the hip. So we can test all those points. The heel is pretty easy. If you squat and you're coming up on your heel, yeah, you're not doing it right. I'm going to pull up on this right here. This would be the part where possibly face. we slap. I like drills that have like really negative <laughs> feedback. So slapping you in the face is a good one. This will do that, okay? So I got a lot of tension in here and I'm gonna squat down and you'll notice it never loses mm. all three of these points. So I could also test one foot. So I could check this on one foot, same thing. I feel like I'm gonna lose it before I even start. <laughs> Get it right there, right here. And now squat down. Whoop. Yep. Bam. There you go. So, which I, I kind of expected uh, based on watching Mark move. There. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of loss there. So rooting is a, a good one for you to work on. Yep. Because you'll notice, like I can externally rotate this leg quite a bit. Yep. And you'll notice I maintain those points. They never pick. My arch actually builds up. You can see my foot is completely fat, flat, mm -hmm. but you my, actually like make my an ankle, arch. foot and ankle complex is actually what we're looking at. So we're looking at, can I maintain this? Yeah, my over feet are pretty, see? Yep. pretty flat, but I can still. Yep. So we want to keep this all stacked. That's what we're looking for. So we're looking, he's losing a little bit in his stack and he's not able to maintain that. Yep. So that would be a thing to look at for him is working on his foot mechanics to improve that base foundation. And if we do that, actually, we don't even have to think about this stuff. Mm -hmm. This and this, everything in between just happens. Help fix a lot of other yeah. stuff. So now we're going to work into, oh yeah, we're going to watch Smokey. And Smokey is doing what we call trying to awesome. win, trying to win the drill. Because you'll notice he's not actually squatting like he would <laughs> normally squat. So. <laughs> that is my squat. Like I'm one? sorry, then. <laughs> there we go. Good. There you go, smoke. Yeah, that's not wrong. Yep. For the drill's sake. Yep. So uh, this is the importance of having jacked feet. All right. Being able to control and maintain that stack, that foundation, because it's actually gonna control what happens at the hip as well.